Hello, teacher Jackie here in my virtual room. <laughs> it looks like a dressing closet, but if I lean, you can see my fancy chair back there. <laughs> Before I speak, let me drink a little bit of water out of my awesome water ball. And I'm having the rest of my superfood shake. I can tell you, it feels like I'm having dessert every morning when I drink my superfood shake. You may or may not know but I used to be close to 300 pounds and I lost 101 pounds and I have kept off the majority of it, which is a first for almost 10 years. I have more of that coming up in October, which will be the 10 year anniversary of when I changed my lifestyle. But let's get to the subject today. My name is Teacher Jackie. I am an ESL online teacher and I have been for over four, well, three years. I'm in my fourth year <clears throat> and I am so happy to be here to share some awesome information. Today, I made over $30 for one hour. Like, really? How does that happen? What is going on here? Well, you may or may not know. So if you're brand new to online teaching or you're curious about this whole online teaching gig, you get paid per class. Now, most companies are 25 minutes. Some companies are up to 40 minutes. It depends. Some have curriculum, some don't, most do. And there's just so many different things out there. Check my other videos out. But for this particular video, for those of you wondering, what? what, $30 for one hour? How'd you do that? And I don't have a master's. I don't have a teaching license. So I'm on the lower pay scale for most of the ESL online teachers. Let me quickly explain this to you because I know our time is precious and I want to value that for you. Be respectful. So you get a base pay, right? And base pay is real important. I know one company recently increased base pay, but decreased a participation incentive that I'll explain in just a moment. Your base pay is important. That's what your contract says. That's what you get paid for your, let's just again, narrow it down to the 25 minute classes. Okay. 25 minutes, I get my base pay. Let's just do a generic number of eight because that's the generic number. You can go as low as seven, high as nine. Some of them supposedly high as 10. Anyway, moving on, I don't want to be the false marketing person where I'm saying, oh, you make $30 an hour. That's not true. And this is a clickbait. This is what happened today. There is a platform out there called Zebra English. And Zebra English has the most amazing student cancellation policy I could ever imagine. Now, this isn't typical. So I'm not going to say this happens all the time. This is summer. Summer in China is summer break. Also for us teachers or us people in life, it's our break as well. So our schedules may not be normal, but for some, you know, it's still a regular work week, whatever it may be. Here we are, 25 minute class. So I did an experiment about a week and a half ago. I thought, this week was going to be off, completely off. I'm traveling. I'm in between stuff. So I wasn't going to have my normal classes open for my normal platforms. Then I realized, wait, actually, my four kids will be with grandma and grandpa. Actually, I can teach in the morning. I'm going to help my husband with some projects during the day. But I can teach in the morning. I can wake up, teach. Even though I need to sleep and want to sleep, I need some money too. So one day I put four classes for a platform that's two hours okay another platform for two hours and another platform so it was like tuesday wednesday thursday platform a platform b platform c <clears throat> and i waited and i waited what's nice about all of these platforms is they have something called the short notice or 24-hour incentive that means if you allow bookings less than 24 hours, you will get an extra dollar, $2, most of them $2 per class. So if my base pay is eight and someone books a class in less than 24 hours before that class starts, I will then make $10 for that class, not including the additional participation uh, incentive per platform, okay? So today, last night, platform A, didn't have any bookings. They were all still there, available, 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 available. I was sad. I'm doing TPR here. <laughs> 
And so I was like, you know what? The history for this for me, I don't get booked. So I closed them and I booked, opened up Zebra English. A couple hours later, I was hanging out last night and I was like, you know what? I'm going to close them all. I think I want to sleep in in the morning. I don't want to teach. Boom, I had a booking. Oh, the second. So there's four classes. So the second to last class was booked. So I closed these two. And I said, fine, I'll book this one and leave this one open. Maybe it gets booked because why not teach those two, right? So I prepared for this class. I looked through the slides, got out my props, got out my stuff and was ready for the class. Got the kid's name and, you know, it was a boy. So I knew some boy props and, and made it appropriate. Woke up this morning and it's not him. It's a her. It's a different person, a different student didn't think about it just went ahead this morning I woke up early enough to prepare for the class her class and I got booked for this class yay too short notice booking so again if I if I make eight then oh I'm disappearing <laughs> if I make eight <clears throat> then I'm making 10 right so I'm getting 10 and 10 so it's $20 for this class some of you already caught this already. Let's see if we can do this. So we have these two classes. So I teach the two classes all as well. After every class, you need to do feedback. Sometimes you don't do it right away. You don't have time between classes. So I make notes. I do. I actually tried to do the sticky notes on my computer, but I actually have a piece of paper and pencil. And I was writing down the word helicopter with one hand while I'm clicking and dragging and doing, you know, because the kid could not say helicopter. Helicopter. No, it's not helicopter. <laughs> More later. I'm doing feedback. I'm done. I always refresh and double, triple check that my feedback got submitted. And I thought, you know, let me check the payment. And for some reason, before I checked payment, it went to classes and it showed my student last night that had canceled it. They called it a soft cancellation for my student. And I remembered it was 24 hours. I'm like, wait a minute. I should be getting paid for that. This is Zebra English. So I went to my payment tab and went to the very last tab because they do it in order. They don't do it in reverse order. <clears throat> so the first one listed is the last latest one and you have to go to the last page for the latest, earliest one, recent one. <laughs> Long story short, I got paid for the canceled class and then the two classes. So in one hour, I got paid for basically three classes. Oh, I love it. Is that the coolest? So again, pretend I make eight. So it'd be 10 plus 10 plus 10. So the one canceled, the two classes I taught, plus there is uh, currently with them a 50 cent incentive. And again, incentives change all the time. So if you're new and you're trying to figure this all out, every company's different incentives change bonuses change um whatever you want to call them changes that's why the base pay get it as high as you possibly can and so potentially that's where i made the 30 but i make a little bit more than eight and i also um again with the 24 hour plus with the incentive that i get and everything else i made over 30 for an hour that was the coolest thing and what i did was the experiment i had another class excuse me another platform open closed them, opened up Zebra English, got booked, got canceled, got booked twice, rebooked. So Zebra English will pay you for some, not all of them. There's something else. I can't remember what, but most of the canceled student at, the, at less than 24 hours. Yes, you get paid. If they're more than 24 hours, I've actually gotten paid for a student cancellation that was a week out. I don't know. I don't question. Don't tell them. It's in my paycheck. <laughs> so I invite you to join Zebra English. Just click on my link below. I also invite you to get a cool water bottle and a great, uh, I can't see it. There we go. My chocolate. Isn't that delicious looking? I can't wait to finish it. I am just so glad to be here. Glad to be here healthy and happy and getting the money I need for my family and just for enjoying life. And I want the same for you. Enjoy life. Easy, simple, shortcuts. 
loopholes, whatever it may be, <laughs> comment below, like, subscribe, let your friends know. I'm here for simplifying online teaching. Also find in the uh, comment, the description below, the link to my website where I have more resources, not just me. Check out Online Teacher Dude, check out Ed Nace's books, check out other Etsy's and things where you can get teacher supplies and other information and even all the wonderful, fabulous, uh, quick things you can get on Amazon to start your online teaching or improve what you're doing. So you're spending less time and making more money. All right. Thank you. Appreciate your time and comment so I know what you would like to hear or know. Bye-bye.